Okay guys, so in this video, I decided to do a part two of bank reconciliation statement. So today I come with this format of two columns so that you can also understand how are we going to treat this parent school. So we are also going to prepare our bank account, which is the same as cash receipt and cash payment journal. So please make sure that you watch the entire video so that you will understand all the procedures that we need to do to complete our bank reconciliation statement. So let's check on our question paper that we have. Okay. The information that we have, they say that uh, the information was extracted from the record of a peasant trader. The business used official bank statement and available on 26 of each month to complete the bank reconciliation process. Okay, then 1.2.1 Calculate the correct journal total for April 2023. Use the table provided in the answer book. Okay, is this first one? And after that, calculate the bank account. Okay, bank account balance on the April 2023. Okay, 1.2.3 Prepare the bank reconciliation statement on 30 April 2023. Okay. Then they give us the information number A, extract an item that appear on the bank reconciliation statement on 31 March 2023. They give us the previous month statement. They, we have outstanding deposit, we have outstanding check, and we have favorable balance uh, on the bank account in the ledger. Okay. Then number one, they said the deposit on 26 March 2023 appear on the April bank statement is 4,500. The difference must be returned off as cashier no longer work for the business. So we are going to adjust this one. I'm going to show you how we adjust that. But we have to start with the balances. Okay, let's go to number B so that we can start. The, the cash journals reflect the following provision total before the bank statement for April 2023 were received. So this is the total that we have to post before we adjust all those transition that we are going to do okay under cash receipt journal which we have to record on the debit side we have 91,280 91,280 this is the balance okay and we also have balance of cash payment cash payment must come to credit side cash receipts on the debit side okay then we have 101 and 50 rand all right so now let's go back to the previous one because it does affect our account they said the deposit on 26 march 2023 appear on the uh, on the april bank statement is 4500 the different must be returned off as cashier no longer work for the business and number two they said all other outstanding amount were correctly reflected on the april bank statement which means that if everything is correct on our bank statement we don't rectify anything here but we have to come here all right so they say that the different must be returned off why because this cashier is no longer there is no longer working with us so there was a shortage or there was an outstanding deposit that we don't know how uh, we don't know how, if we receive it or not because the cashier is no longer here which means that that amount we have to do it to cancel it okay at the, at, in the previous statement you can see that on 26 outstanding deposit checked on the previous month statement we have a amount of 9500 okay but uh, what appear on the statement is 4500 which means that we won't be able to agree with the bank if uh, another 5000 we really receive it because the cashier is no longer here which means that that amount we have to cancel it on the cash payment it's a loss to us which means that it, it, it can't be received it's a payment okay so we're going to write off amount of five thousand how do you how do we get this five thousand nine thousand five hundred minus four thousand five hundred is give you the different for five thousand okay this amount has been written off Okay, then let's proceed. Let's proceed 
to another tradition. Number C, the following item on the bank statement for April 2023 must still be taken into account. Okay, we have the service fee of 245 and credit card levy of 750 and cash handling fee of 48. So all this amount we call them a bank charge. Bank charge obviously is a payment. Bank charge. Okay, which means that we must add all this amount. 245 plus 480 plus 750. Okay, you have to show the calculation so that you can in a full max. Okay, this is going to give us 1225. Okay, then interest credited. Interest credited. So, how do we treat? interest credited of amount of 200 this interest is the amount that we earn okay so which means that it's interest of 200 it must be on the cash receipt we we in interest interest income in other words this amount has been credited to bank reconciliation statement if it's credited this side this means that when we go to our books, it must be debited. Don't be confused by the words credit and think it's going to come this side. No, they are referring to statement because we are reading what is reflected on the bank statement. Okay. Then a debit order is always on, on the payment side. Okay. They say a debit order to angle secure for business insurance is 2100. So we paid insurance of 2000. 100 okay debit order of insurance amount is 2100 okay then we have a direct deposit of 7500 by a debt okay obviously we receive from our debt 7500 we receive it from our debt okay then let's proceed Let's proceed to number D. The EFT of 375 was recorded as 6000. Okay, in the CPG. This is EFT appear on the April bank statement with the correct amount of 600. So which means that this is the amount that we have to, to adjust. Okay, they said this amount was recorded as 6000. Okay, and this EFT appear on the bank uh, uh, on the bank uh, statement of April with the correct amount, which means that the bank statement is correct. We have to rectify here. Amount of six hundred. In other words, we indicated that we pay six thousand instead of showing that we paid six hundred, which means that the difference of six thousand minus six hundred is five thousand four hundred. We must revert it back to this side. Okay. 5,500 Okay We are rectifying A different Okay So this is what you do when you face an error Okay, you check Where is it appear correctly Where is it appear incorrectly The side that appeared incorrectly Is the one that we have to go and rectify Okay, so now let's go to number E. A stop order for repayment on loan of 10,000 appear on April Bank statement. The loan, however, was settled in March 2023. The loan company was informed of this mistake and this will be rectified next statement. We have to rectify here. They said, in other words, the, 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 the company of a loan they charge us into our banks at 10,000 by mistake, which means that we have to go and do it and rectify that. Okay, so I think this part we don't have any other tradition. Then we have to come this side, we have to start with balance as per bank account. Okay, then we check if we have outstanding.
we pause it okay then after that we have abstaining checks okay and the other one we check if we have correction of error then the last one we must have a balance as per bank statement okay then after that we're gonna do a totals all right then let's proceed let's proceed okay and number e that we, we that we were reading uh, it was about the loan uh, of ten thousand so this amount must be rectified okay let's come back here to this principle remember on the bank account this side is a plus this side is payment is a minus which means that when we come to this side it's versa versa okay it's gonna be a minus here and it's gonna be plus here which means that when we cancel uh, the amount of ten thousand, we have to come this side to indicate that that amount is coming back to us we have a positive amount remember when we make a payment it's come this side when we receive it comes this side which means that we have to receive that ten thousand back because they took it from our bank and thinking that we still own them a loan okay that's a correction of error of 10,000. Simple. We added it back. Okay. I think it's making sense. So let's proceed. Okay. Number F. They said the following item appear in the cash journal for April, but not on the bank statement. Not on the bank statement, which means that we have to come on the bank statement and do the right thing. Okay. Then we have deposit of 21,000. And we have EFT of 2250. Okay, outstanding of outstanding deposit is come to credit because it's a plus. Check is payment, it must be a minus. Okay, outstanding deposit of 21,500. And outstanding check that we have is 2250. Very simple, guys. Very simple. As long as you are familiar with this principle of plus and minus. You're going to get it very right and very correctly in a simple form. Okay. And the last one, they said the balance on the bank statement, they didn't give us. So which means that this one, we have to get it as a balancing peak. But remember, we have a balance that we have to calculate. Question 2.2.2. .2. Okay. It's very simple. It's very simple because we already... A calculated our bank account okay which means that we must first get the totals this side the total for cash receipt general is gonna be one four four and three hundred and eight okay if you add everything you're gonna get this one and if you add everything here you're gonna get amount of one oh nine five seven five Okay, then after that, we have to go back to our last month statement. So this is what we are going to do. We check a favorable balance that we have, uh, which was 18,795 on the previous year statement. We have to start with it here. We have to start with opening balance plus receipt minus payment. And we're going to get the balance correct. Okay, so... Amount of 18,000 is favorable, which means that it's positive. 795. If they said unfavorable, you have to say negative 18,000. But it's favorable, it must be positive. Okay? Then we say plus 104, 380, minus 109575. Okay? And it's going to give you. If you said 18,000 plus 104 minus 109, 
is gonna give you amount of thirteen thousand five hundred and fifty. Very simple, simple as that. Okay, so uh, because this amount um, is favorable. Okay, we have to record it under our bank reconciliation statement. Okay, this is gonna be balance according to bank account. Okay, it's gonna be thirteen thousand five hundred and fifty. Okay, now let's check if we have any other transaction that we didn't do. I think we did everything accordingly. All right. So now we still have a balance as per bank statement that we have not yet recorded. What do we do? Very simple. Very simple. We check which side is higher than the other side. Okay. If we add this side, we're gonna get thirty-one thousand five hundred. And this side, I don't think we have that more than that. Which means that we add this side and we get thirty-one thousand five hundred. Which is which is going to be the same is thirty one thousand five hundred this side, and we calculate this as a balancing figure because on the last transaction they didn't give us this amount. Okay, so in most cases, guys, because they know that if they give you that balance and you find that it's not corresponding, you are going to cancel something until you get it correct. So they are not going to give you a balance. Unless you are, you are doing a lower grade, uh, which is grade 11 or grade 10, they are not going to give you, they, they will give you the balance from those previous levels. But grade 12 and above, they are not going to give you the, that balance because you are going to crash until you get it right. Okay? So we are going to say 31,500 minus everything, which is going to give you an amount of, okay? 31,000 minus 22 minus 31,500 is going to give you 15,700. Okay, then you will get it uh, correctly uh, without any problem. So, this is how we should compile bank reconciliation statement together with bank account and bank. Balance. So I hope you learned something guys in this video. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with friends who want to learn bank reconciliation so that we can move together. So I will see you on part 3 as we are still going to do part 3 for bank reconciliation. Thank you so much guys. See you.